Today we are continuing our series on solving some math Olympiad questions. Let's get stuck into it. Okay, so we are tackling this problem here today, which says that we have 5 to the power 2004 divided by 100, and we're asked to find what is the remainder that is left over after we perform this operation here. Okay, so we can first start by thinking about the number 5 raised to different powers. So, for example, 5 to the 1, obviously we know that's 5. 5 to the 2, well, 5 squared, we have 25. Then 5 to the 3, 5 cubed, that's 125. And if you remember 5 to the power 4, that is 625. Now, for good measure, we can do 5 to the 5 and that gives us 3,125. Obviously, I mean, <laughs> we're not gonna just continue on and keep going until we get to five to the 2005 raised to the power 2004 because we would be here forever and not sure anybody knows that off the top of their heads uh, unless we had a computer or a calculator to, to figure that out for us. But you might notice that as we started writing, you know, five squared, five cubed and so on, there is a pattern that's occurring here and it's that after, so say we have 5 to the n, which is 5 to the power n, when n is greater or equal to 2, you notice that it, each of the values that we get out when we square, when we cube, and so on, end in 25. And there is actually a law for that. Now, obviously, I'm going through this question quite slowly just so you can understand the concepts, but most math Olympiads would probably look at this question and think, okay, I know the rule for 5 raised to the power n. And the rule is that 5 raised to the power n for n greater than 2 ends in 25. Now, this itself can actually be proved by induction, which will omit for now, just know that this is something that always holds true. And therefore we can say that, okay, well, if five raised to the power n for n is greater than two always ends in 25, we therefore know that five to the power 2004 will always, will be some number. So let's say it starts with a1 is the number that it starts with. And then some numbers later will have 25 so it will end in 25 which means that when we divide this number by 100 we therefore get left with 25 as the remainder because if we say if we take any of these values that we have here and we divide them by 100 this gives remainder 25 because 100 doesn't go into 25 it's 0 remainder 25 this here is 1 remainder 25 this here is 6 remainder 25 uh, and so on and so forth. So what we'll end up having is that 5 to the power 2004 will have remained a 25, and that is the answer to this question. Now, when I was doing some research for this question, I was looking at what other people did, how they tackled it, and some people had some really nice ideas, but they ended up getting the wrong answer in the end. So some people found that the remainder was 1, which obviously is incorrect. Um, the answer is 25, so I'll just write that here. Um, The answer is 25. But yeah, some people have looked at this question and given it a go, um, and they've kind of not spotted the immediate thing that, you, that stands out, and that is five to the power n is always gonna have remained a 25. And if you didn't know that, then you know that now. It's quite a nice little math technique to have, and it allows Olympiads to solve questions like this it, straight away. So yeah, a very neat question, very, very simple question. If you spotted this trick here, yeah. Really enjoyed this one. Comment down below any other ways that you would have tackled this question and comment down below any other math Olympiad or astrophysics and astronomy Olympiad questions you want me to tackle and I'll feature them on this YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.